before we begin, there'll be spoilers about the game. So there you go. Subscribe to Intoxicated 3PO. Is that, is that what they wanted? Yeah, are we good? Did we do it? You make, you make niggas wait six, seven years for the sequel just to kill off the main protagonist in the first two hours, two and a half maybe. This is supposed to be a 30 hour plus game. You want me to play with this kind of energy? The Last of Us Part 2 has been out and after reading the reviews and seeing the reactions of people who have loved the original game, many of them feel betrayed, they feel hurt, they, and even confused as to the direction of Naughty Dog and Part 2. And I sat back and I was like, what is this sounds so familiar? This sounds so familiar to me. And it wasn't until this tweet by Mahler, I was like, yep, that's it. That's it. They gave them the last Jedi treatment. Um, let me explain. So let's go back before this game even came out. The excitement level was high. I know many of my friends were excited to play this game. They told me, they're like, dude, you got to get in and play the first one. You're going to love this franchise. You're going to love the gameplay. You're going to love everything about it. And so here is the hype. The hype was coming. I mean, check out this poll. Um, people were ready. They were ready to uh, to play with their favorite characters again. They were ready to jump back into this world. Um, they were ready. And that was just like many of us with The Last Jedi. We were ready to see our favorite characters on the big screen again, especially Luke Skywalker. We know he's aged and we were ready to see him on the screen. We we're like, yes, we're going to see Master Jedi Luke. This was the movie we've been waiting for. And this is what they do. Nobody's triggered. It just feels very dry and raw. Like, who am I going to root for now, dude? Did you let her go? Guys, this just feels like, almost like Naruto, you know? It's like if at episode 160, some new character come out of the blue in one episode for the first four minutes and kill Sasuke with a fucking slingshot pebble. That's, that's kind of how this feels. I don't even want to play anymore. <laughs> what is happening? No. Oh my god. Why am I so butthurt? This is like, it happened right away. We barely gotten started on the game and they just killed Joel? Why? What just... Vile, utter, lazy, dog shit... Storytelling, coding, whatever the fuck you want to call this, man. What? There's a good way to go out and there's a bad way to go out. Dude, Joel literally played... Was literally, you played him the entire first game. Literally, he's on the face of the fucking cover. He's a face of all the other, all the covers. Literally a main character. A good guy, everything like that. And for have him go out like that. Like that. I thought you were dreaming at first, you are going to wake up. Maybe you still are, Lillian. But to have him go out like that. Is so, I don't know, just pathetic. So, he... I say this, dude, he deserves so much better, actually. Like, at, like, to go out and, like, defending Ellie in, like, a gunfight or, or something. Not saving the person who literally beat a skull in. And then dying in front of Ellie, and he sees Ellie in front of her. I get it, it's like, whoa, like, we're gonna be one-of-a-kind devs here, guys. Let's do something absolutely fucking retarded real quick. Guys, guys, get this, it's gonna be so edgy. We'll have a fucking... A, two girls having sex and smoking weed, and then right after, let's kill Joel! Ship it! Let's go, boys! Like, it's insane! It's actually insane! That's literally what they thought! It's gonna be a banger! Like... That's right. Take a character that people love. Take a character that people wanted to play. Take a character that people wanted to see, and then kill him off in the most stupid, ridiculous way just because you think it might be edgy. Does that sound familiar, Last Jedi people? Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Does that sound familiar? Oh, and the Last Jedi treatment continues. Then you take a character that nobody knows. 
you take a character that no one's gonna like because that character is destroying your other character and you force the consumer to play you try to force them to to like this character you try to force them you know to uh <laughs> to, to to welcome this new character with open arms and they they force you with hours of gameplay yes of course we're talking about abby and abby is compared to our ray our ray skywalker that's right our ray skywalker let's just thrust in a character that um you know we we could have loved we could have loved if it was done right but uh it wasn't done right and then after all that when the reviews come out and they're not what the creator they're not what naughty dog not what neil not what any of them wanted to see when they see the reviews that are that are not good from people playing the game they're just like this game the story is terrible and and this is the interesting thing the negative reviews were basically this the gameplay was beautiful the cinematography was beautiful what you did was joel was terrible and the story was crap basically the same thing that people were saying about the last jedi the cin cinematography and the music everything was shot beautifully the story was horrible and that it killed a star wars franchise so what do you do when you get negative reviews you don't blame anybody but the bots oh it's the bots it's the bots the bots want us to fail people actually really love this game people actually really love the last jedi it's the bots it's the bots that are that are trying to take it down that's right it, it's not real people that don't like this game it's just the bots you put all that together and you now have a video game that's been given the last jedi treatment Thank you for watching, and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, it really helps out the channel, and helps out the video. And if you're one of those people that love this game, and that love The Last Jedi, I salute you.